Hey, I'm Cece, and it looks like I am cruising for a bruising. It got to seem like I really want this bruising. Like, I'm not necessarily cruising to this bruising as much as I am partaking in a high speed, 100 mile per hour car chase towards this bruising. Seems like I was not done with Marcus and his antics. We still got a bunch of endings. I'm assuming, I don't really know. I, I still can't find where the endings are, but I'm sure we have a whole bunch more. So let's get into it. I wasn't kidding about that bruising. We're gonna get, we're gonna get punched. He grabs me hard by the shoulders. Oh, how sweet. Gonna look into my eyes. Yeah, so I can see the soulless creep within. Hey, what's my line? I can feel him warming up, fingers gripping, feeling the bones, kneading for the muscles. He gives a slow, long squeeze, fingernails digging in, and I tilt my head back, basking in the rough pressure. Not bad at all. Make sure you stretch before you start. I can't have you hurting yourself, now can we? That does it. He squeezes tight. That's gonna bruise. And if he keeps it up, he'll break the skin. Ah! Is this what they do at spas, Marcus? Oh, she's... She's not yelling. She's like, ah. Is this what they do at spas, Marcus? This has got to be what they do at spas. He lets go. You know, a deep tissue massage? Ooh, one more of those, please. And then he strikes me across the face. Open palm, a firm smack. Yow! Now that is better than coffee. Can you even drink coffee, Dee? I thought caffeine killed small animals. <laughs> Ooh, a height joke. I, just over five feet, have never been teased about that in my life. I am a little over five feet. I'm more than, I'm more than five feet. <laughs> I'm into it. Makes you easier to apprehend. Oh my god, like the time you put me in one of those rolling suitcases? <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, there was still enough leftover room to pack underwear and snacks. I'll have you know, had I been claustrophobic, you could have traumatized me for life. Shame. You claustrophobic now? Nah. Let me guess, if you were, you'd never tell. And lie to you? You wound me. I will. Ho 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 ho. Don't make promises you can't keep, Marcus. I can let this go on a bit, no problem. But if I do this too long? It'll be enough for me, you get what I mean? That's it? Just playful banter? I'm going to have a very good time. I'm going to end up letting loose and this story will have uh, a pretty spectacular climax. We did see it. I mean, it wasn't from banter, but it still was like, dude, that's it. And if I finish right here, that'll tire me out. And yes, of course it'll be good, but I'll pass out. We already know all this. We'll go to the other location. This place for all its dank cellar charms is not a threat, but that secondary location does worry me. So I gotta stay focused. This is fun, no doubt about it, but I can't get distracted. Just a little bit of fun while I work. Just a little bit. So, feeling moderately worked up, I give him a smile. What next? You gonna get cucumbers and put them on my eyes? He grips my shoulders again, digs in his nails, and drags them down my arms. I can hear the nails as they scrape against my skin, taking off a messy layer as they go. Ooh! Maybe not enough to draw blood? Oh, that will absolutely scab over, though. That's a treat. The things that I enjoy happening to me is... <laughs> I rest back against the chair, relaxed smile on my face. This is what you should be doing for a living instead of pretending to solve more mysteries than you cause. Give up busting perfectly kind people for harmless sex work and join up with them. <laughs> His face. <laughs> it's the significantly more respectable option. Oh, he's mad. That pissed him off. I wasn't even trying to, though. Oh. 
I don't get another word in before he slaps me across the face. It leaves my jaw pleasantly sore. Oh wow, that was a nice one. Oh yeah, I can hear a grunt of frustration. He is not enjoying my sass one bit. Which is weird because people typically enjoy my sass. Let's switch it up a bit. What to make him do next? Okay, how to get him to do what I want. Okay, well, we're not doing the knife. Um, we can maybe do the taser. The taser kind of pissed him off. So I think maybe the taser again, and then we can locate where the taser is when he sets it down. And we're not gonna do anything slow. No bleeding. No, 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 no. Just keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> okay, so we already did all this. Okay, use the taser, sir. Like I asked you to. No! Damn it! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe it's just a slap. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking up a lot of electrical puns lately. Still have that taser? What? I clicked, I clicked slap, didn't I? Okay. So I guess we're just tasering it. I'm insulted if you take it easy on me. Oh, is that the way it is? He pockets the taser. What? Don't do that. Ah, oh, darn it. I won't be able to get it from him like that. Maybe I need to try something else then. No. Give me the taser. No. Damn it. Ah. Okay, punch me in the head. Oh, Dee, it's very nice to see you without all that heavy clothing. I gave you so many great scars. Yeah, 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 yeah. No! Why do you have a knife? I told you to punch me in the head! Um... I guess we'll just give him the element of surprise. Okay, I need to time this one carefully. No surprises while it's on my skin. I'm looking to gain a knife, not lose approximately all my blood. Hey, Marcus? D, this is a lot easier when I can concentrate. Yeah, I know. You looking to get cut then? Well, I assume it's going to happen sooner or later. You're not just teasing me with it, right? D, shut up. Having gotten him good and frustrated, I do choose this moment to shut up. But not because he told me to. I can sit for a moment as he finishes setting up his marks on one arm and starts on the other. Those slow, light nicks. I can't help the goosebumps that rise as he continues. Pulling my attention to all that bare skin. Prepping me for what's to come. D. Relax. Not that I'm going to allow it, of course. If all goes according to plan. So I wait. Wait for him to be satisfied with my silence. Wait for him to be into it. Wait... You know, I'm pretty shocked you didn't find it yet. He doesn't look up. Find what? The bomb? <laughs> it's my ass. My ass is the bomb. He goes rigid, and the knife clatters to the ground. What? He's already to his feet. There's absolutely no way for him to tell if this is true or not. I've called in fake bomb threats as a distraction before, but I'm also the reason he lives here now. As opposed to his last two homes. <laughs> oh my god. Not to mention the crime scene puzzles and explosive traps I've trapped him in in the past. Oh no, I am far from the boy who cried wolf here. <laughs> oh my god. As he tears around checking for wires and... Yes! Risking a brief check upstairs. I slip my foot from the loose cuff. Carefully check the ground for the knife. There it is. Grip it with my toes and bring it up to my hand. Click it shut. Can't hide an open knife as well as a closed one. 
Use my foot again to transfer the knife to my lap, scoot over a little, and sit on it. Knife secured! We got the knife! So long as the situation stays above the waist, he won't notice that I have it. So long as we don't get too frisky, I won't get frisked. I slip my foot back into the cuff with plenty of time to spare as I hear him coming back down the stairs. All I need now is an opportunity like that one. And perhaps a better means of defending myself while escaping. He'd overpower me and get the knife away before I could get one good slice in. Marcus rolls his shoulders. Oh god. Um... So we need this taser. We need the taser. When I click on the taser option, we lose. And I feel like we've gotten a little bit further than we did last time. I'm gonna try the taser again. Okay. Aw, you don't wanna give up on it, huh? I do admire a guy who keeps trying. Endearing, like a puppy or something. Whoa. That one had a bit of a kick to it. Dee, you know how an electrical current works? That question is much more insulting than anything he's done to me up to this point. Of course I know how a stupid electrical current works. Did you think that I contracted out my killing rooms? Ass! <laughs> I grit my teeth. I let him get to me. That outburst lost me a few points. His voice resumes the discussion, low and pleased. At the right voltage, you just want to get a little arc. You see, there's a gas electrode I put on here. And you want to get that arc from the electrode to the skin. I ain't even touching you, really. I can hear it crackling again. The thing's fairly loud. It does kind of tickle. <laughs> tickle, he says. Tickles. But let's imagine, while you weren't looking. Ha ha. Then I decided to swap out the glass electrode for something a little more conductive. Say, a metal rod. And then I touched that direct current to your skin. Ooh, it burns! He laughs. It burns. Just zesty, M marvelous. Wish you could see what it's doing to you. You look good with a burn or two. It's a shame I had to go for the chair with you. When I get you out of here, I'm gonna keep you so tired out that I can just use a pair of Velcro cuffs on you. Uncalled for. <laughs> Very rude. And I'm gonna just put you over my knee and see how red and cute I can make that ass. Oh my god. What? Already I've got his next killing room concept. Stupid old punishments that are stupid and old. Fill his mouth with foam soap until he starts to choke. Stuff him in a small box, face shoved into a corner. Send him to that room without dinner. Forever! You're just giving me ideas, idiot. Oh yeah? Tantalizing ideas? Wondering whether I use a paddle on you? Buy a cane? A flogger? There is zero chance you don't own all of these items already. I found the paddle already when I kidnapped him two years ago. It had holes in it. Oh my god. <laughs> Decreases wind resistance. Makes impact sharper. Clever boy. He really knows how to hit. D. Focus. Rain it in. Rain it in. We are trying to escape. But it was still in the packaging. How sad. I'm certain that I'm not his only sexual partner. But there's a lot of stuff he seems to save for me. I didn't even get to read that. Oh, is that like this lovely taser right? <laughs> Whoa, yeah, that's a good one. Right to the side. Can't take too many of those, though. He touches the resulting burn and ugh, I'm still raw there. It's too fresh for him to do that. Raises the age-old question, really. How much medical treatment do you give someone you're torturing? Because these burns open up a whole new avenue to play, D. How is that an age-old question? How? What? 
He's not wrong. Scars I can deal with, but burns can be temperamental to heal. Burns can be temperamental. He should hear that one. Hey, Marcus, you should be care- <laughs> Oh, you just keep zapping me. That was a little too fast. So, sweetheart, what do you want? Ask nicely. Okay, something you said just now gave me an idea. He rubs his hands together for a moment, then pops his knuckles. I think it's time that we... Uh-oh. His doorbell? He pauses, leaving me equal parts annoyed and grateful for the interruption. Someone expecting you? Shit. I'll bet he thinks I can't hear him muttering to himself. I told him I was busy today. Oh yes, very busy locking up a woman in your basement for pseudo-consensual, psychosexual fetish play. Hey, have I heard you, even once, ask to be let go? Something tells me that you'd say no. He's already heading for the stairs. You were too giddy about this to even pretend like you didn't want it. I said help at one point. You sounded very sarcastic. It was very sarcastic. He's headed up the stairs now. Stay quiet, will you? If you scream, I won't get in trouble, but I will have to take you to prison. And there goes your secret identity and my weekend plans with you and some suspension restraints. Damn you and your nefarious sexy plans. <laughs> and I do mean it. Does he have a swing? Are we talking about a shibari situation? Do I even want to Google that? No, no, I did not want to Google this. <laughs> but I did anyway. I'm already painfully aware that I won't be getting any satisfaction out of this whole thing. Don't make me want to stay. Doors closed and I can hear him locking it. Probably with a standard deadbolt. What an insult. The second he's gone, I know it's my chance to get free. I won't have another one this good. I scoot the knife out from under me and knock it to the ground. I slip my foot out of the cuff, and it only takes a couple tries to get it to my hand, where I flick it open and get at this cuff. If it were a duller knife, I'd be here a while. But even at this angle, with my limited range of motion, it's cut through in under ten seconds. That is a sharp-ass knife. I pocket the knife. Finders keepers. Free hand undoes the buckle holding the other down. Now is when I really need to pick up the pace. There's no hiding that I've started my escape. No turning back. That stupid loud music is still playing. Shit. Uh, I forgot that we didn't turn it, get him to turn it off. I'd put the lock up to my ear if I could, but it's locked in place around my throat. Damn it. I'll have to do this one based on touch. Try to feel for the hinge locking. That's not impossible. I take a breath and slowly rotate the dial. Slowly, slowly. It takes a couple more rotations than I would like, but I can feel the hinge lock into place. Now I have to be careful or I'll have to start all over again. I can guess at where the first number was, but I can't tell for sure. Slow, feel for it. Ugh, I've gone too far. I start over. Where is that hinge? Where? I wonder how Marcus is planning to transport me to this other place. Surely he wouldn't just put me in a car, right? Guess he could dose me and cover me in a garment bag or something. Ugh, I don't think that sort of thing is my kink. <laughs> I don't think it's mine either. But I guess I've never tried it? I don't- I haven't tried it, you know, and I don't think I need to. To know. First, for sure. <laughs> Focus, D. Where's that? There. That's one. Now, just a little turn. It's gotta be somewhere in the first half? Ah, yes. Just one more. I can hear his footsteps coming down the stairs. No, I was so close. Damn it. So sorry about that. Co-workers, you know? So, ready to keep... He stops. D, you, uh, not even gonna pretend like you're not in the middle of a failed escape? 
just uh, playing with the lock. You cut through my straps. Just one. Those were good leather, D. I do feel kind of guilty. There's some people I'd love to lock up in a chair this fine. Some people? He's already obtained something else that jingles from the shelf on the other end of the basement, and he walks back over. You cheating on me? What did he... That's more deplorable than the failed escape! My face goes hot with rage. I can't cheat on someone to whom I have no commitment. Your heart somewhere else, huh? Don't be gross. Easily grabbing my hands away from the lock, he secures them once again to the armrests. He even finds the knife. Well, whoever he or she is, they can keep your heart. I'm interested in the mind and body. Also, not yours. As long as you don't start screaming out other names in bed, you can belong to whomever you want. Oh my god. I hate all of this conversation, so I switch topics. And what's with these cuffs anyway? Standard issue? These aren't comfortable at all. You broke the nice ones. He's able to lock my feet back in, both of them secure this time. Rats, I think I blew it. My best chance at escape. Am I shaking a little? Trembling? Uh, no, let's not use words like that. Marcus has put a hand on my knee. Uh-oh. And he's inching it up my thigh. Uh-oh, Marcus. This is where I say, Hey, quit that. I've got plans for later. Plans that don't involve you. Plans that don't involve you pulling me off this chair and onto your lap deep. Ran it in. Focus. Grabbing me with those sinewy forearms. Sinewy? What an awful word choice for that situation. <laughs> that is not a nice word. Yeah, I'm gonna tell him right off for the way his hand is curled around my inner thigh. Gonna tell him. You better not move those fingers any closer. Marcus? Don't you dare. Ugh. Closer. He better not extend that finger out. He pulls his hand away. Hey, what the hell? Oh, I'm sorry, D. Were you enjoying yourself? Obviously, and lying will get me nowhere. I can't help it if all this turns me on. No, no, you can't. Look, how about I take a little mercy on you? We both know you're done for already. Whatever I do to you next, your little body can't handle it. You're gonna scream out and... Okay. Fireworks the whole nine yards, then pass out. So, you tap out right now, and you don't have to use another round of all this indirect contact. Yikes. I'll unlock everything and... Yikes. No. Deal, D? No, D? What? How could he possibly? How dare? As if. As if. I open my mouth and say to him, Okay, well, this one is the entire antithesis of what we're supposed to be doing right now. We're supposed to be getting out of here, and if we do this, okay, we're not getting out of here. We're gonna pass out and then wake up on an island, so I can do this. I can do this. Let's get, uh, let's get him to do what I want. Uh, fine. I, uh, the knife, please. Uh, could you shock me just one more time? Wrap your hands around me. Just mess me up real bad. Is it a bad idea if I just ask him to touch me? Did I say that out loud? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I feel like these two might be our best option. Just, just, just get the taser. There's an unmistakable smell of ozone. It's strong. Why is it black? You, you want to open one of those windows? I feel really fuzzy. Oh shit, did we pass out anyways? Why? I was upstairs just now. Got some fresh air. You... When? I don't think I remember that. I'm not really sure how much more of this I can take. Electrical shocks aren't like other pain. They mess with your nerves. 
get to a point where you're merely anticipating it causes me to go flinch and go numb. Then again, I guess I never asked anyone else about it. What? What was I talking about? Oh yeah, breathing. Oh no. <laughs> if you're gonna keep me down here, I need to have fresh air. It's just poor planning. Is that right? Yup. He walks to the back of the room. I think I really got him with that one. But I don't feel that sense of triumph from pissing him off. My head is really fuzzy. I don't even notice him come closer. And all of a sudden, he's grabbing me by the lower half of my face. There's something in my mouth. Oh no. I can feel straps along the side of shit. <laughs> he's buckling something behind my head. It's a ball gag. Fuck. Now we can't talk. <laughs> Do you ever get tired of being wrong, D? Because gagging you won't stop you from crying out. It'll just stop you from talking back. How dare he? How dare he? The fog is certainly clearing from my mind now. Talking back? All right, the ball gag has holes in it, so breathing isn't an issue. He's locked it tight with a buckle, which is. This takes away dialogue as a tool. Shit. This is still zapping us. The charge blasts somewhere in my torso. I can't tell where. Everywhere? Everything is pins and needles and jerking muscles. I fall back into the chair, gasping for breath. And my tongue pushes against the gag, useless. Whatever words I try to form, no matter how defiant they sound in my head, are reduced to an unwieldy, ugly mess after passing through the ball gag. This is stupid. Why even have me here if I can't talk? Even my groans of frustration sound base, animalistic. Mother fucker. Is that silence I hear? D. Deleuze? Stunned? Speechless? Oh god, I cannot rise to this bait. He's gonna make fun of how I sound, and that just does not do it for me. I really ought to cut out your tongue at some point, or maybe look into messing around with your vocal cords. That stuff is a little extreme, I'll admit. Expensive to get done, probably. But the results would be worth the investment. He's acting as if half the charm of this entire arrangement is my witty banter. And I'll bet I could find a guy. Son of a bitch. So you ready for another one? I try to estimate where his eyes are to give him a glare. Cursing is the refuge of those with poor vocabularies. But right now, I'll take that refuge. Under the cuff, I turn one palm up and curl most of my fingers together. <laughs> leaving that middle one high, holding it as firmly and unmistakably as possible. He's quiet for a moment. I can feel the atmosphere turn chilly. Oh ho ho, he met. <laughs> he thought I couldn't sass him. Cut off the hands for all I care, put a sack on my head. Marcus Nowak, you will never break me. Oh, you big man. Stomach. Oh. Winded. Can't. You stupid bitch. You always gotta tempt fate, don't you? Ooh. How badly do you love this to get me pissed? Oh god, are we gonna die? Hurts. Hurts bad. Head foggy. Marcus, upset. He he he. <laughs> Worth it. It's too hard to think, everything getting quiet. Yeah, I messed this one up. Wherever he takes me next, it's gonna be, let's say, slightly tricky to get out of. But as I lose consciousness, maybe he can tell. Even locked up and covered in burns. Even with this thing in my mouth. I win. Ish. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I'm grinning. He can cart me off, but he still knows in his frustrated heart, I win. Ending number three, Marcus and his taser are met with some resistance. Sweet. Okay. Let's try for one more. 
I got this. I can win this. It's fine. It's fine. So, we have the lose ending, okay? I went back. We're gonna lose. We know this is this is losing. This is losing. This is not our goal. We are not supposed to be in that situation. We were trying to avoid that situation altogether. But it's an ending. <laughs> so let's just speed through it and get to some other ones. He undoes the straps on my feet and hands, but just as quickly, he slipped a pair of handcuffs around my wrists. Hey, you said... He laughs, low, ominous. I said nothing about not putting more restraints on you. Technically true. I hear him laying out a couple blankets, some pillows on the floor. They sound thick, like comforters. How nice. Uh-oh. And then he secured the cuffs to one of the poles and he lays me down on the comforters. I must begrudgingly admit that they live up to their name. And just as I'm starting to feel somewhat cozy in this remarkably soft pile of blankets, I hear the click of the spreader bar. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Well, that's it. Good game, me. I put up a fine effort, but now I can feel him cuffing my ankles and doing the spreader bar. <laughs> and I just let my body melt into the blanket pile. That's it. Too many of my kings in play. I did my best, but it just wasn't enough. I give my feet one futile jerk against the bar, but at this point, I'm not even pretending it's an escape attempt. I think I'm just enjoying it. When you can't get your legs even close to it together. With my arms cuffed up above my head, too. Ooh. Ooh. can't try to be subtle about it anymore. Oh no! Oh no! Um! <laughs> she, she asked... She said, Marcus? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> this is going on forever and ever. <laughs> Thought we'd be able to speed through it, and it is going very slow. <laughs> End. It won't end. It, it just keeps going. <laughs> well, she said that she needs him. She admitted that she needs him. So I, that's nice, I guess. <laughs> Four billion years later, I'm still here. <laughs> Well, we got ending number six. Only you. <laughs> okay, well, I did not expect that ending to take as long as it did. It was like a fucking novel. Just a whole ass novel. And I can't... I can't put any of it up for you. <laughs> but the game is free. If you're just blazingly curious about it, you can go get the game. But hey, we got two more endings out of it. So that's three endings out of question mark endings. So <laughs> thanks for hanging out. We're going to get out of here. We're going to fucking escape. And we're going to do it our way, not his way, I swear. <laughs> but until then, take care of yourself and I'll see you later. were crazy I'm sure you've heard that before